Hi, George Durkee again with Columbia College uh, GIS. And uh, in the first video, we covered uh, some of the basics of setting up a ArcGIS Online uh, map. And as an example, I used uh, setting up uh, a fire uh, public information map. And I had some additional thoughts on stuff you can add and techniques and things like that. So uh, we'll add a little addendum here and then uh, 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 I'll move on. The next video will be uh, how to create an app uh, from the web map. So just as a side note, uh, yesterday I was uh, thinking about an issue here in uh, uh, Tuolumne County and uh, several congressmen are advocating for increased logging as a way to uh, uh, reduce fire danger and fire intensity and as luck would have it I have an actual degree in forestry and uh, know that not to be true and I thought well how do we represent that graphically uh, so a number of you probably remember the rim fire from 2013 the incredibly uh, huge uh, uh, fire that started uh, uh, south of uh, uh, Sonora and burned all the way up into Yosemite uh, if you go into archival uh, imagery and in resources, uh, I'll post a link uh, to how to access uh, a lot of this. Um, but in ArcGIS, you can actually go to uh, 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 add uh, uh, Browse Living Atlas layer, and you get it there, and you look up multi multispectral Landsat, and that's a little complicated, but uh, uh, and, and I won't go into detail there, but there's uh, all sorts of imagery there you can get. Anyway, uh, so uh, I got uh, imagery, and then you can, uh, uh, I'm sorry, then you can uh, go down here and uh, uh, enable uh, time animation and it'll show you what's available over a period of years and uh, on the bottom here and I I won't go into this in detail either but there's instructions online and again I'll I'll put that in resources um, but you can set it up to show an animation uh, year by year of the available uh, imagery anyway what this all comes down to is these uh, pinkish sections here are all logging areas um, and uh, uh, so you can see that uh, in in 2013 April 2013 uh, there was extensive uh, logging uh, in that area and had been for the previous uh, 10 years or so and uh, so also online I looked for uh, rim fire and uh, uh, found uh, rim fire progression and you can see the extent of the fire and and that um, you know that's kind of a graphic way of showing that logging uh, timber harvesting which I have absolutely nothing against but um, if you're using that as an argument that it'll somehow uh, prevent uh, or, or, or minimize uh, wildfires then no it doesn't um, and this can be approved on in fact uh, instead of multi-spectral I'm going to see if I can find a, a true color imagery. Anyway, that's just one example. Uh, Esri years ago had the uh, uh, the uh, slogan, uh, thinking spatially. And, and the point of this whole little side note here is that, you know, you start thinking how you can present uh, problems you have uh, and, and, and the solutions. Uh, if, if it has a spatial component to the solution uh, and, and, and uh, uh, then you can show it graphically, and, and that might make it, um, you know, more. Uh, 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 that might make it a little more dramatic and uh, um, get people to see, you know, both the problem and the solution a little better. So okay, back to our um, fire map in the Santa Rosa area. Uh, notice that since uh, the first video, a whole bunch of other uh, shelters, these blue crosses here, have come online. Uh, when I did the video two days ago now, I think, uh, there were only two down in here. 
and now there's a whole bunch more which which makes sense and while we're here let's take a look at uh, how you can label uh, your um, uh, your points uh, so national shelter system open shelters and uh, Oops. So you go to the drop down here and then you go to open shelters and uh, go to the drop down there and manage labels. And uh, then you choose, you activate the labels, you choose which uh, field uh, you want to reflect the label, so shelter name. Uh, you might have to fool around because the fields aren't always clear uh, what they are. And then you can set the type face and uh, uh, the uh, bold in this case. And halo is, uh, notice that I've set it to blue and uh, uh, put a halo around it. So when you have a varied background, uh, it's often a good idea to, a, a varied color background, it's often a good idea to uh, set a, a, uh, a halo to it to allow contrast to have it show up on several different types of uh, color uh, background. Uh, it's also a good idea, and I didn't quite do it here, to have your uh, label color be the same as the label. So, um, you know, I chose a blue, but I didn't get the right blue, uh, just for grins. Let's see if I can match it. It's a really dark blue, navy. Let's try that. Then you hit OK. Let's see. Yeah, it changed it. It's close, but let's uh, go with that and then move on. So the other thing uh, that would be important to a public information map is uh, traffic, or well, what roads are closed, and uh, uh, how traffic is moving, and things like that. And so uh, for that, uh, I first tried a search within ArcGIS Online. I didn't get anything back. Um, so I just went to Google and searched live traffic GIS server. And so GIS server is where all the stuff is coming from. Uh, somebody is maintaining it. Uh, they're putting it on a specific type of server that handles geospatial information. Um, and so as luck would have it, uh, World Traffic Service comes up right at the top of the list. So I click on that. And that tells me uh, what it is. Uh, and, uh, you know, green, orange, red. Uh, and so what we're hoping for is that it shows closed roads especially. Now, if you scroll down a little bit here, uh, you're given a URL of where that server is. So you copy that, and then we go back to our map, and we go to Add, and we go to Add Layer from Web. And uh, notice, and then we set it to ArcGIS uh, Server Web Service, and Paste, and then Add Layer. And we immediately get um, a, uh, the large red dots now are closed uh, road sections. Uh, the green is traffic along the freeway is moving uh, pretty well. Um, and this is actually kind of a fun layer to know uh, uh, where it is and how to use it and so on. Um, and if we look at the drop down, as soon as I find it here, traffic. Notice that we get traffic from all over the world, um, which we don't really need. Um, so let's uncheck uh, Asia Pacific and Middle East and Africa and Europe, even though it would be fun to see the traffic in Paris right now. Uh, and then we'll just leave North America. And there we go. We'll save. And that's just because there's huge amounts of data coming in and we're just uh, reducing the uh, total uh, bandwidth of, of uh, information coming in. And that's updated uh, 
automatically. Um, and then I also added incident monitor uh, pin, and so that gave us uh, uh, the actual uh, names of the fires. Uh, notice here, nuns, uh, which I added a, a halo to. Uh, you guys don't need to do that. Um, it's just kind of an example of uh, all the various stuff uh, you can add. And there's our weather, and uh, uh, they're also starting to put in, because this is from the incident monitor, uh, uh, so it's real-time wildfire activity. Let's turn, yep, okay, so that's real-time wildfire activity, because uh, notice that we now have uh, a better boundary for a couple of the fires anyway. Uh, so those are probably from actual uh, uh, GIS maps that have been created. Uh, I noticed that all the TV stations and everything for these fires are, are essentially using uh, uh, the MODIS imagery uh, and adding a, uh, a boundary to it. Um, so they haven't been releasing maps uh, publicly yet, uh, although, boy, by day three, you'd think they would. Anyway, um, okay. Oh, and uh, I also added uh, census, uh, USA census populated places, and that comes from the Browse Living Atlas. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of... Uh, uh, census data and all sorts of things uh, that's worth exploring just on a on a uh, draft map of anything just to just to see what it has and it'll color code the communities by population but I just wanted to show the high population areas and and that helps in uh, uh, planning although for our map it's uh, probably less important but anyway I threw it on there okay and once again we save uh, and, uh, oh, uh, one other thing, uh, the traffic, uh, map is, uh, is a, uh, proprietary map, and it will only work with a paid, uh, ArcGIS Online subscription, uh, so our organizational account covers that, um, but if you were to send the, if you were to share the URL, and I'll show that in the next video, uh, of this map, uh, they wouldn't be able to uh, uh, see the traffic. Uh, fortunately, there's a workaround, and I just uh, found that yesterday, um, and I will show it to you uh, when we convert this into a web app in, uh, in the next video. Okay, so... Uh, That'll do it for this, and uh, uh, next we'll be uh, creating a web app. Thanks.